Hello and welcome to Shape It Up. I am your host, Nicole Simonin, and I help women over 40 lose weight for the last time. And on today's episode, I'm going to share with you how to lose weight with abundance at Thanksgiving. So one of the biggest mindset shifts that I have learned is the difference between abundant thinking and scarcity thinking. The definition of abundance is an extremely plentiful or over-sufficient quantity or supply. A person who believes in an abundant mindset will focus on the limitless opportunities available to them. Gratitude also ties into the abundant mindset. On the opposite end is a person with scarcity mindset. This person has a belief that there will never be enough. So Thanksgiving is a celebration of being thankful for the abundance of food which is on the table. When you are looking at the Thanksgiving food that is spread out in front of you, what are you thinking about? Is it that you must try every single item on the table? If you are thinking that, you are probably in mindset, a scarcity mindset. Another way to know that if you're in scarcity mindset is you might be thinking you need to eat as much food as possible because you will not experience Thanksgiving food for like another 365 days. Now add into the mix if you have a big family and like in my house growing up, if you didn't eat really fast and go for seconds really quickly, you didn't get any. (laughs) The fear of not getting another helping of your mom's killer pecan pie could be something you are thinking about and not even realize it. If you're anything like I used to be, my primitive brain would start freaking out that I am going to miss out on my favorite dessert, so I should eat as much as I possibly can, even if I feel sick to my stomach, because this will not be available to me, for what I imagine in my brain, a very, 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 very long time. If you haven't heard me talk about how we operate from two parts of our brain, you can go back in previous episodes and listen, but here are the cliff notes. We have our primal brain and we have our sophisticated brain. Our primal brain wants to keep us safe and indulge in as much instant gratification as possible. It, if it doesn't get what it wants right then and there, the primal brain will have a huge hissy fit. This is where emotional eating self-verbal abuse, and it's basically the time when you totally give up on your weight loss goals. The other part of our cognitive thinking is our sophisticated brain, and this is where all our dreams hang out. This side of the brain is our cheerleader, our number one supporter. This is where our Wonder Woman version of who we'd like to become lives. The sophisticated brain will help us make plans, think about our future, and helps us believe we are the badasses and we can do anything. Unfortunately, the primal brain is typically super loud and tends to drown out our sophisticated brain. So think of the saying, the squeaky wheel gets the oil, and our primal brains squeak very loudly. So abundance thoughts come from our sophisticated brain. Scarcity thoughts come from our primal brain. Makes sense, right? So your primal brain wants to keep you safe. So it teaches you not to fear not having enough food, feeling scarce, and not having enough instant gratification. Sophisticated brain wants us to achieve amazing things, to lose weight and live in the body we dream about. And why not? She thinks you're totally awesome and you can do it, anything. Anything is abundantly possible in her mind. So what I'm about to suggest, you can absolutely start doing this today, this very second, but in particular, do this on Thanksgiving Day. Notice your thoughts about the Thanksgiving food that's in front of you. Are you thinking in scarcity or in abundance? Abundant thoughts are like, you don't have to go back for seconds. Abundant thoughts are eating until you are comfortably full. Even if Thanksgiving is like your ultimate highlight, like your favorite holiday ever, you know it will be back around next year. Even if for some weird reason it does disappear, I mean, it is 2020, right? Who knows what's going to happen? 
you can get a turkey anytime you want. You can get or make any desserts that were on that Thanksgiving table. You could make Thanksgiving dinner every day for the next nine years if you wanted to. So head into Thanksgiving with an abundant mindset and see what decisions you make from that place of plenty. If you would like personalized help losing weight through the holidays and on into 2021, book a call with me today at shapeitupfitness.com slash chat. All right, I will talk to you tomorrow for our next turkey tip. Take care.